Every single one of my trailer sketches starts off sounding like this. Just simple piano sketches. And when all is said and done, we end up with something that sounds like this. Hey friends, I thought I'd just share a few goodies with you today. First of all, I just want to make a big shout out to those of you who have already joined the Production Music Academy. Uh, it's now officially live. I've got a solid crew in there and everything's off to a great start. I'm back to doing track feedback, live composing and production tutorials. And I've added a new course for November. My Inspiring Orchestral Trailer Course is now live and available in the Academy as well as Teachable. And to celebrate, I'm giving away a little freebie today. It's a collection of MIDI trailer progressions and melodies uh, which I think you'll find really useful. So all those links are in the description below. Go check that out. And right now we're going to take a look at how I use these very simple progressions to create huge epic trailer tracks. So let's dive in. So trailer music can be a really tricky genre to work in for the simple reason that the sessions tend to get really big. There's a lot of instrumentation, lots of layers, and it requires a certain degree of organization and maintenance. However, that being said, the basic ideas behind the composition itself are very, very simple. All my trailer sketches start out sounding like that simple piano progression that you heard at the beginning of the video. So how do we take a simple chord progression and melody and turn it into an epic cinematic track? Well, I used to feel extremely overwhelmed by this process and uh, these tracks used to take me forever to finish, uh, but there's two very simple concepts that help me um, improve my workflow. One is simply putting together a track template that works for you. I really do believe that templates are essential for trailer music. Visually speaking, it's a lot less overwhelming to look at, uh, but of course we want to set ourselves up uh, to be able to do quick routing of instrumentation groups and also avoid uh, any time killers, namely uh, searching and loading up contact libraries and plugins needlessly. So this template that you're looking at here, uh, which I use to write this track, has all my essential orchestral instruments and then some. It's more than what I need. Right now, everything is kind of neatly tucked away uh, under these track stacks. So if I start unfolding these, you'll see uh, that I have all my favorite go-to instruments and VSTs. And as you can see, there's a lot more than meets the eye. And the session is actually pretty big. At the very bottom of this session, you can see that I have all of my trailer hits, uh, whooshes, risers, sub hits, downers. All of these audio samples are preloaded in the session, so I'm not dragging them from external folders uh, into the session. So I can basically just take them and drag them anywhere I want into the track, copy, paste them, uh, edit them, do whatever. So it goes without saying, this template is extremely helpful to my workflow. The other concept which I employ for effective trailer composing is simply using a checklist. And this is something that I explore in depth in the course. And the writing module is essentially my own personal checklist in action. I have a simple action list which gets uh, tackled one piece at a time. And this way I don't get bogged down uh, trying to figure out what to do next. You know, there's a, there's a method which I follow which helps guide me through the writing process. I think of it like building a house. You know, first we dig the foundation, uh, then we start pouring the concrete, then you move, uh, you know, to the roofing and the siding, adding windows and, you know, gradually you start getting more granular and, you know, detailed, right? So you're, you, know, you start adding the plumbing and the electrical, uh, painting the exterior, the landscaping, all the small details. Uh, yeah, I probably skipped a few important steps there with uh, the house analogy, but you get the point. Uh, this is how all things are built and it's really important to think of writing music in the same way. This is something that I teach in the academy and uh, in all my production courses. You focus on the essentials and everything else falls into place. So let's pull up a new session here and take a look at some of these MIDI progressions. All right, so I got 20 different progressions in this pack. Let's grab one and see what happens here. So I'll grab this number 20. Just threw it into a basic piano patch here. That's how it sounds. Okay, again, so like super simple. Some of the progressions in the pack are just simple chords. Uh, others have like a melodic theme attached to it as well, like this one. So you could easily, you know, parse out this chord structure from the melody on top and mess with it, you know, however you like. I loaded up like just some simple, uh, like a simple brass uh, strings and, uh, and like synth pad patch here. And if we just copy paste this MIDI uh, into these patches, then you can kind of get like an idea of, uh, you know, where it could go. 
So I could easily imagine some like epic percussion and, and string staccatos to kind of like bring this progression to life. Try number 17 here. So there's a ton of ideas to work with uh, in this pack. Really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, feel free to download it. And if you do end up using it, by all means, uh, send me your finished tracks. I'd love to hear them. So drop your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let me know what your favorite uh, trailer music composers are. Let me know what libraries, uh, VSTs you're using. Let me know what's getting you inspired. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please take a second to check out the Production Music Academy. Membership starts at only $10 a month and our premium membership includes access to all the production courses. If you wanna learn how to create passive income online with your music and level up your production skills, that's what the Academy is all about. So make sure to click on that link in the description. In the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Take care, peace.